and we will throw them the Pistons pick. Boom! Let's go. It's that easy. It is that easy. All we had to give up. All we had to give up was What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, it's not going to be a rebuild, but we are going to be going into my league, and we're going to be doing something. We're going to be attempting something that I don't know. I've never seen it before. I've never done it before. I don't know if you guys have. If you have, let me know in the comments section below, but we are going to be trying to trade for Giannis Antetokounmpo without, like, we're just trying to see if it's even possible. We're going to go and we're going to try and make the best offer for each team. We're going to throw the absolute house at them. I don't care. We're going to see if we can realistically trade for Giannis in 2K. Yeah, we're going to find out a way to do it though. But, but anyways, if you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications and also like the video. You know what? I'm thinking about something right now. I'm thinking maybe we do a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. I think maybe that's the deal. So when we get to 2,000 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. Um, so help a brother out. Get to, get me to 2,000, and we will. Uh, I'll make the rules of the giveaway when we get there. Um, but yeah, so that's the deal. Giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. Let everybody know. Have them subscribe so they are here when we reach that milestone. But anyways, let's get into this video. So this video, I don't know if this video is going to take five minutes, if this video is going to take an hour. I have no idea how long this is going to take, but we're going to attempt to trade for Giannis with every single team here in 2K. See if it is possible. We're going to start off first off with the 76ers because they are the first in alphabetical order, or should I say numerical order. But um, yeah, so we are controlling all 29 teams except for the Milwaukee Bucks. So... First, let's go ahead. Let's see if Giannis is untouchable. This team will never trade Giannis Antetokounmpo. Interesting. I beg to differ. All right. Got to have confidence with this. So we go here. We go to the Bucks. We give him Giannis. Obviously, the people we can give back. Joel Embiid is a really good starting point. And I will give them Ben Simmons. And then they'd have to give me back about $3 million. So they can give me back like DJ Wilson okay and let's go ahead they don't have much for picks though that's the rough part let's go this first let's go ahead and throw in this 2023 first and let's throw in this 2024 first okay those do not do it is there another player that has some good trade value that we can throw in um like Matisse Thibel has three stars, so they'd have to send back two million more. So give me like um, Wesley Matthews. Okay, that doesn't do it. So let's take out one of these picks and let's see if there's another player we can throw in that might have a little bit of trade value. Like I said, this is going to be hard. Zayer Smith, he has three star trade value. They have to throw in another $2 million. So let's go ahead and let's try and snag away. Will Thanasis do it? He does not. So let's try and get um, Kyle Korver. And that doesn't do it either. Okay, so let's see if there's another player we can throw in. This is going to be pretty much impossible, if I do say so myself. Is Do they have somebody that makes a lot of money that we can throw in here? You know, like Marvin Williams and I don't know who else, like Brooke Lopez. Okay, the 76ers are not going to be able to do it. I blame it on the picks, so let's try the Bulls. The Bulls probably aren't going to have a very easy shot to trading for Giannis, but let's throw him in there. And then let's go ahead and give them Zach Levine, because we'll have to give him Zach Levine. And then... Wendell, and also Laurie Markkinen. And then they'll have to send me back some very bad players. So give me Thanasis, give me, um, I don't know, DJ Wilson. Would he be better than like, uh, Sterling Brown's probably good. Okay, so the money works up. The amount of players works up. Now he's got to throw picks in there. So we'll give him the 2020 pick. We'll give them the 2021 pick. 
and we will also give them the 2022 pick. So that doesn't work. Let's take the 2022 pick out and let's give them Kobe White and then they can give us back like Kyle Korver. Doesn't do it. Let's take out this pick and see if there's a different player we can throw in here. Like what's Daniel Gaffer got? Two and a half stars and they'll have to throw me back like Pat Connaughton. The Bulls also cannot get it done. I don't think we're going to be able to get this done. I really don't think so. But we got to keep trying. Cavaliers, they're going to have a tough time doing it. But let's go ahead and try and get Giannis Antetokounmpo with the Cavs. We will give you Drummond. Um. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and let's make Drummond a... Where are the Cavs at? Let's make Drummond a power forward so his trade value goes up a little bit. And let's go ahead and try and get Giannis now. So we'll give the Bucks, and then we will give you Drummond. We will give you Colin Sexton. And you will have to give me back, like, the Nassus. And then I got these picks. These picks might be able to do it. I don't know. Probably not, but, um, you know, we could throw, like, Kevin Porter Jr. in here, too. So let's go ahead and find Kevin Porter or Darius Garland. How about Darius Garland and Kevin Porter? So we'll throw in Garland, we'll throw in Porter, and then we'll just take back, like, Connaughton and um, Kyle Korver. Uh, let's take back Sterling Brown instead of Connaughton. 1.39 million allowed, so then also give me Connaughton. Okay, just give me Sterling, not Sterling Brown, give me back um, DJ Wilson here. Wow. Okay, so this isn't enough to get it done either, so that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and let's try the Celtics. The Celtics might be able to do it. All right, so for the Celtics... We got to get Giannis in here. We will give you Jason Tatum. We will give you Jalen Brown. And we will give you Kemba Walker. 14 million more. So they have to send back 14. So give me someone like Marvin Williams. And then also just like Kyle Korver. Okay. They're not blown away by this offer. Okay. We have luckily three first round picks this year though. So let's throw those in and see what that does for you. We have your pick. You want it back? They do not want that back. Okay, so we'll take out that pick. We will throw in... <sighs> I don't know if we can make Gordon Hayward work, but could we make someone like Carson Edwards? No, he doesn't. He's not good enough. Okay, um... What about Romeo Langford? Three and a half stars? You send me back, like... Sterling Brown. Okay, that doesn't do it either. So let's try and throw in Hayward then. He only has three-star trade value as well. They have to give me back a lot of money. So like, yeah, it's not going to work. Celtics, best offer, not good enough. Okay, Clippers. This is the first team that I think possibly could be good enough to do it. And that's because we have Kawhi and we have Paul George. We're going to try and figure it out. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's bring in Giannis, and I will give you Kawhi Leonard. Um, okay, money doesn't quite match up. Um, let's go ahead and throw them... Huh. Paul George, and I will take back Chris Middleton because I feel like that's fair. Okay, and now we throw in the picks. So we don't have many picks. We have a pick swap. We have this pick and let's also throw in this second and i have some young players i can throw in there instead of some of these picks so let's take out the seconds let's try and throw in you know what let's go ahead and throw you montrez harrell and you send me back who makes like six million here um ursan Ilyasova. okay and i will also send you like hmm should we send them Lou Williams and then try and take back 
who what Marvin Williams all right so that's not good enough if we're not getting him with the Clippers I don't know if we're gonna get him with anyone Grizzlies maybe maybe if we could pull something off here with like you know John Morant Jaron Jackson Jr. Brandon Clark and Valanchunas and then they send me back like Thanasis Wesley Matthews Kyle Korver okay and then I will give you this 2022 pick and this 2022 pick wow okay so this still is not enough is there another player we can throw in here justice winslow probably not going to be good enough um john tay porter not going to be good enough all right so not going to work with the grizzlies that's fine we're going to go to the hawks and let's see what we can do with the hawks so obviously again Giannis. We will give you Trey Young. We will give you John Collins. We will give you DeAndre Hunter. Okay, and then anybody else? Clint Capella. Okay, those are the four players. So then let's take back Sterling Brown, Kyle Korver, and Athanasis. Uh, Okay, so the money works. We just got to hope that these last couple additions, these picks, are going to help out some. Chances are probably not, um, but we have to try it. So this is the best offer we're going to be able to put forward. They are not interested in this trade. But, but this is very interesting because they said they're not interested in the trade. But beforehand, all the trades were like, we have to be blown away. Now they're just saying they are not interested. So it means we're getting close. We are getting close. I just thought of something. We didn't throw Cam Reddish in that trade. So let's go back. Let's go back. Let's throw everybody that we had in there in there. Capella. Hunter. We're going to throw Reddish. And what's Bruno's trade value look like? Bruno might be better. So then let's just take all of their trash players we'll take the nasus we will take um kyle corver we'll take pat Connaughton, sterling brown dj wilson and give me Connaughton. okay so now he's untouchable again okay um, is there somebody different than Corver we could throw in? Like Wes Matthews? Both the same. Okay. So that didn't work. Just wanted to try that out. Let's go ahead and switch to the Miami Heat and see if we can get it done. This is somewhere everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of people want to see Giannis traded to anyways. We'll throw them Jimmy. He's got to be the main piece. We'll throw them Bam, which will be good. And is there another player that I think will work out good? Um... Yeah, I think the only other player we want to throw in is like Tyler Hero. And then we will take back Thanasis and Corver. Three million more than allowed. So then give me also like DJ Wilson. Okay, so that's not going to work. I will also give you, let's go ahead and give them Kendrick Nunn. And instead of DJ Wilson, give me back... So, we'll send 2.96. So, you got to go a little bit more than that. Yeah, give me Robin Lopez. Okay, and then I have some picks I can throw at you. All right. This is probably the best offer the Heat are going to get. I don't think there's another player we can throw in. I mean, like, maybe Duncan Robinson. I don't think he gets it done, though. Um, all right. The Heat. That's a no-go. Hornets. This is going to be laughable. This is going to be absolutely laughable. Giannis. And we will give you T. 
Terry Rozier, PJ Washington, Bridges, Devontae Graham, and you give me back all the... I'm getting so sick of putting all these bad players in every single trade. Korver, Connaughton. Okay, that's good. Okay, now what about picks? Just throwing in two picks going to be worth it? Okay. 2021 pick. All right, that's got to be the best trade the Hornets can get. We're not getting Giannis with the Hornets. I'm sorry. If we can't get him with the Clippers, we're not going to get him with the Hornets. So let's try the Jazz. Okay, so Giannis in here. We got to give them, obviously, Rudy and Donovan. So Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert. That should make the money match up about right. So if they give me back, like, the Nassis. Okay, now any other players that have a lot of trade value? Bogdanovich? Eh. Um, what about, like, Clarkson? Mm. What about... Yeah, they don't have a lot of young players that are good. So let's just try and throw in some picks then. See if we can get it done. There's one pick. We'll throw in 2021 pick. We'll throw in the 2024 pick. And we will throw in 2021 second. Alright, we're not going to be getting Giannis with the Jazz. How about the Kings? The Kings would be an interesting one. We can throw them Marvin Bagley. We can throw them... Hold on. Let me make sure Bagley is a small for or a power forward. All right. And we'll throw Giannis in here, obviously. We'll throw them De'Aaron Fox, Bagley, Heald. And what about like Rashawn Holmes? Okay, so then give me back the Nassus. Pat Connaughton, and Kyle Korver. And we will throw you 2020 pick and a 2021 pick. They're not interested in this trade, but we're close. Let me go make some moves here. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and take Buddy Heald and make him a small forward, a shooting guard for De'Aaron Fox, Rashawn Holmes down to a power forward, we might want to throw Bogdanovich in there, so let's go ahead and try that again. So we'll throw Giannis, and then we got Fox, Bagley, Holmes, Heal. That might have helped their trade value a little bit. Then we will go with Connaughton, Corver, and Thanasis. Okay, and then we will throw the picks in again. Okay, so they're not interested. Let's take 2021 pick out, and let's try and throw in Bogdanovich and try and take back. They have anybody that makes, like, around that much that's a little worse. Ersan Ilyasova, they are not interested in this trade. Is there a different player we can throw in here, like Harry Giles? And... So not DiVincenzo, probably not the player to throw in. Let's go with Sterling Brown. They're still not interested, but it's got to be so close. So we're getting there. We are getting there. We haven't got to the Lakers yet. Lakers will be interesting. Knicks. Um, Knicks, you know. 2K really values like RJ Barrett and Mitchell Robinson. So we'll throw Mitchell Robinson in here. We will throw in RJ Barrett and Kevin Knox. Actually, this isn't bad. We'll throw in R.J. Barrett. We'll throw in Kevin Knox. We'll also throw in um, Dennis Smith Jr. And we will throw them also Julius Randle. Okay, and then they got to give me, like, all these same bad players again. Connaughton. Corver. We might be off on the money-wise this time, but I could be wrong. Give me also, like, Sterling Brown. So money works. Last thing we can do is try and throw them a first round pick. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, Is there a different player that I'm forgetting? What's Neil Aquinas trade value? Not good enough. Okay, Knicks aren't getting Giannis. Lakers. This one is going to be really interesting because we have LeBron. We couldn't get him with... Um, we couldn't get him with uh, Kawhi and Paul George, but we might be able to get him with LeBron 
and Anthony Davis. So let's try that. So we got LeBron. We'll also throw you AD. You have to give me back Bled Brooke Lopez. And is there another player that makes a lot of money that's not worth it? Um, George Hill. Does that make the money work if I throw you back like Dwight Howard? Seven million more. Okay, so then also throw me... Ooh, Marvin Williams would be good. Take George Hill out. Money works. Okay. Picks. One pick. Another pick. Another pick. Okay, take out this pick. Throw in Kyle Kuzma, I'm guessing. Probably the best. And I will take back, like, Corver. All right. So apparently, LeBron and Anthony Davis still is not good enough to get Giannis. This is going to be impossible. Absolutely impossible. All right. Magic. Uh, don't know if the Magic really have enough to try and get Giannis, but we'll try it. We will throw you Vucevic and Jonathan Isaac. And we'll even throw them... Oh, we got Fulton Bomba, actually. That's that's clutch. Fulton Bomba. Then t give me back, like, Thanasis, Connaughton, Corver. 11 million more. So take out Connaughton. We will throw in... Um, Marvin Williams and... Corver. Okay, and I will also... Aaron Gordon has good trade value too. Can we take Aaron Gordon back if we give you like... <sighs> Brooke Lopez? And then... 2020 pick. Alright, so that does not do it. Let's go to the Mavericks. Let's try and get him with Luka and Kristaps. This is another one that I think maybe could work. But first off, we're going to go ahead and change... Uh, Kristaps is going to be a power forward and Luca is going to be, he can stay at a shooting guard. So, all right, this is getting super repetitive, but we have to get this done. So Luca, Porzingis, and is there another player they have that would be really valuable to them? Seth Curry, two and a half. That's probably fine. So then let's go ahead and take the Nassus and Kyle Korver again. How much money? Six million. So give me back Robin Lopez. No, give me back. Let's take Seth Curry out of this. Okay. We will give them Jalen Brunson. And then they have to give us back like Connaughton. Okay. Um, we'll also give them Willie Cauley Stein and they can give us back Kyle Korver. Wow. The Bucks have to send out more than Kyle Korver. Okay, so this money situation is kind of screwing me up. Wesley Matthews. Okay, and then we got this first. And I also have this first. And that's the best I can do. Not good enough. Okay. So the New York Nets. New York. I was thinking the New York Mets. The Brooklyn Nets. They are in New York, but the Brooklyn Nets. They have to trade away Kyrie and uh, KD to try and get this done. So we got Kyrie and KD. That means they're going to have to give us back, like, not Bledsoe. Give us back, like, Marvin Williams and um, Brooke Lopez. And I will give you, like, Jared Allen. And I'll also throw them Dinwiddie and Levert, and you can give me back like Ursan and Robin Lopez. Four million more, okay, so not Robin Lopez. Let's take back George Hill. Okay, Um, I will also give you this 2022 pick, and that's the best I can do. I don't think there's anything else I can throw in here. DeAndre Jordan, maybe, and then they give me back, like, 
Pat Connaughton? Oh, they need 7 million more. Um, yeah, I can't do it. There's just no way to get this one done either. Hmm. If these teams aren't good enough, I don't know what team is going to be good enough. So let's go ahead and let's try and get Giannis with Jokic, Murray, Michael Porter Jr., and Bol Bol. And I will take back Thanasis, Kyle, and Sterling Brown. Okay, we have to take back one of their two-way guys. So we'll take back Cam Reynolds, former Timberwolf. And <sighs> let's throw them some picks then, see if that's going to be good enough. And let's throw them this pick. Okay, the only thing I can think to do is like change people's positions like Jokic, Jamal Murray, and Bol Bol and try it again. But I don't think that's going to be good enough. Uh, but we can try it. So Thanasis. We'll also throw in Pat Connaughton as always. Actually, not Pat Connaughton. We will throw in Sterling Brown. And we'll throw in Kyle Korver. Just because their trade value is a little bit worse. Oh no, we got to take Brown out. And we got to throw in um, Cam Reynolds. And then we will throw them Jokic. Uh, Jamal Murray. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. And then also Bull Bull plus this 2020 pick and this 2022 pick. Still not good enough. Okay. We haven't even got a counter offer yet. We got to get something done here. So next team we got is the Indiana Pacers. So let's try the Pacers. Giannis and our best options are Sabonis, Brogdon, um, Oladipo and Miles Turner, I guess. TJ Warren maybe could be thrown in there as well. $41 million, so give me back. Uh, obviously, Marvin Williams. Also, give me back, back Brooke Lopez. And then Robin Lopez. Uh, $1.2 million. Then also just throw me back the Nassus. And I will give you this uh, 2022 pick. Pacers can't do it. Let's try the Pelicans. Let's try Zion. Let's see if Zion can do it. Sorry, it's so hot in here. I'm sweating. Got a towel to keep drying my hands off. This stupid controller. I'm sweating. All right. Anyways, besides the point, let's go ahead and get Giannis on. This might be a team we can do with Zion. Five-star trade value. Awesome. Brandon Ingram. That's going to be clutch as well. And let's also throw you Lonzo Ball and Jackson Hayes. And then you give me back. I don't know how much money they're going to need back. We'll start out with Marvin Williams just because he makes so much. Um, it looks like $10 million. So then also give me Ersan Ilyasova and Wesley Matthews. Oh, no, that's not going to be good enough. Okay, so also give me... Keep Ursan. I think I overestimated how much money I was giving them. Uh, Thanasis and Kyle Korver. Okay, so we are still acquiring 5 million more than allowed. So I will also send out... Who makes 5 million? Um, Could we send them, like... Drew Holiday and take back like, Bl not Bledsoe, take back like, Mar oh Marvin Williams is already in there. Can we take back like Brooke Lopez? And I will give them this first. Bro, look at all of this. This is just getting so irritating. If the Bucks got offered this in real life, I promise you they're going to take this trade. Look at it. You got Zion. You got Brandon Ingram. Like, you're going to take this trade. You'd still have Chris Middleton, too. I don't know why they wouldn't take this. Okay. Anyways, let's go to the Pistons. Pistons aren't going to have anything to do it, but we got to try. We're trying with literally every team. So I will give you 
Blake Griffin, and I will give you Derrick Rose, and I will give you Christian Wood, and then it's just going to be picks from there. So 2020 pick, uh, 2021 pick, and a 2022 pick. They got to give me back Thanasis, Kyle, and... Uh, Pat Connaughton. Bucks would require five million more than allowed. Okay, so we got to send out somebody other than them. So let's go ahead and send out Robin Lopez. Okay, let's go ahead and send out Ursan Ilyasova. Um. Okay. Let's send out. Wesley Matthews. Okay, doesn't work. Didn't think it would work with the Pistons. Let's go to the Raptors. Let's try and give them Siakam and uh, Kyle Lowry, I guess. So Siakam, Lowry, Van Vliet, and you'll have to give me back Thanasis and Ursan. Bucks are requiring three more than allowed, so take out Thanasis, throw in Robin Lopez. And then we will give you a 2020 pick, a 2021 pick, and a 2022 pick. Beautiful. Doesn't work either. Okay. This is getting so frustrating. I've been at this for an, half an hour already, and we have gotten basically nowhere because we can't keep negotiating with the teams we already tried with, so we are pretty much at ground zero. But we're going to keep going, so let's go ahead. Giannis, we are going to throw you James Harden, which is a good deal, I think. And I will also give you one Russell... Actually, hold on. Let me go change something quick. First off, Robert Covington. As you guys know, if you watch the channel, Robert Covington always has to go to a small forward. But let's go ahead and let's do Giannis. Let's do Harden. Let's do... This is going to be a lot of money. Westbrook and Covington. But you know what? Like, if we take, like, Bledsoe and we take, like, Brooke Lopez, eh, let's take Marvin Williams. Still 21 million too much. Okay, uh, Bledsoe and Ersan Eliasova, and then I send back Chris Clemens and Damari Carroll. And a pick. All right. That's the best we could do there. So let's go to the Spurs and try and get... Let's try and bring uh, LaMarcus Aldridge to Milwaukee and see if that can get the job done. Also, we should change DeJounte Murray to a shooting guard. And let's go ahead and propose a trade to the Bucks for Giannis. We got Giannis. We got Aldridge. I also have a DeMar DeRozan for you and a DeJounte Murray for you. 23 million. So we'll take back Marvin Williams and we will take back Ersan Ilyasova. And now we got picks. So we got 2020 pick. We got the 2021 pick. And we got the 2022 pick. Okay. Is there anybody else on this Spurs team that we could send them that might be worth something? Lonnie Walker might be worth something if we take back, like, Thanasis. Nope, not good enough again. So let's go to the Suns. Let's try and give them Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton. We're going to go ahead and make Ayton a power forward, and Booker can stay at a shooting guard. Okay, so let's go ahead. And I'm more or less making them power forwards because, like, the Bucks are going to want a power forward in return for Giannis. So that's kind of my... Uh, that's kind of my thinking there, but we'll throw in eight and we will throw in Devin Booker and we'll also throw in Kelly Oubre. And then I will take back from you like Ursan Ilyasova. We probably got to make the money match up. Okay, and then we'll probably also got to take back Marvin Williams. And now let's throw in 2020 pick. Let's throw in a 2022 pick. And let's throw in a 2023 pick. Okay, is there another player we can throw in? Mikhail Bridges might be better. Um, so we'll take Bridges, or we'll give you Bridges and we'll take back the Nasus. K 
Okay, is there a better player here too that we can throw in? Uh, could we throw in like uh, Aaron Baines? He's not better than the pick. So that's all we can do for the Suns. Let's go ahead with the Thunder. Let's try and get Giannis. <sighs> Chris Paul. Shea. Steven Adams. We'll probably have to take back, you know, like... Not Bledsoe. We'll go with Marvin Williams. Isn't it crazy that Bledsoe and Marvin Williams make like the same amount of money? And we might have to take back Brooke Lopez and Ersan Ilyasova as well. Wherever Ilyasova is at. And we will give you back Nerland's Noel. Okay, and then I will throw you this pick and this pick. Not going to be enough. Thunder aren't going to be able to get them. Let's go ahead and try with my Timberwolves. So let's give them Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell plus uh, Jarrett Culver. And is there anybody else on this team that might have some value? Like, I don't know what Beasley's value is. Two and a half stars, that might be good. So $30 million. So give me, first off, give me Marvin. Then give me Brooke and Ursan. and then you can have this pick from the nets and then our pick as well okay not going to be good enough um trying to think if there's anything else i can do with the timberwolves i know that team better than anything but i don't think we're going to be able to get him so let's try we have the blazers warriors and wizards left let's try with the blazers here um, I don't think we're going to be able to do it, but we can throw them Lillard, and we can also throw them CJ McCollum. And, wow, they have big contracts. Whiteside, we're going to have to take back like all these big guys. So, like, Brooke Lopez, uh, Marvin Williams, we're still 18 off. So, then also give me Bledsoe, I guess, and I will send you back Gary Trent Jr., um, who acquires too much? The Bucks are. So instead of... Huh. So send me back, like, Thanasis. Actually, we'll have to go with, like, Wesley Matthews. And I can give you back Nasir Little. No, let's go with Anthony Simons. Let's go with Nasir Little. And we'll throw you our 2020 first round pick. Not good enough. Okay. Go to the Warriors. Let's try and throw Steph, Clay, Wiggins, Adam, and let's see what it costs. So let's go to the <sighs> Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins. You're going to have to throw me back like Bledsoe, uh, Brooke Lopez, and probably Marvin Williams as well. The Bucks are still acquiring 14 million too much. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and give them Kai Bowman. No, he's not. He's a one star. Let's give them Marquise Chris. And we will throw in this 2020 pick and then this 2021 pick and also this other 2021 pick. Not good enough. Nothing is good enough for these bucks. We'll try with Bradley Beal and John Wall, and then we will get into something a little special. So we'll go Giannis. We will give you Bradley Beal. We'll give them John Wall. We will give them Rui Hachimura, and we will give them... Davis doesn't have that much. Let's go with Thomas Bryant. And give me back... So first off, we'll start with... Marvin will also have to take in Brooke and probably like George Hill and also send me like Wesley Matthews and I will send you back um, this guy. Okay, and then one more pick and this is the final trade we are trying and we do not get Giannis realistically with any of the other 29 teams in the NBA. Um, okay. Now this is what I'm doing. We're going to go, who do we think would be the best? We're going to try and, with the Mavs, 
because we want Luca. So what we're going to do is for the Mavs, we are going to take Luca. But we're also going to so I'm going to trade like a second round pick for the Pistons first. I'm just going to try and get the best first that I possibly can. So like the Pistons first is going to be good. So we're going to do that. And I know this is cheap. This is super cheesy. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I know this is cheesy, but we're um, we're also going to go ahead and try and get the who else has a really good first this year. Um, the Knicks would have a good first. So let's go to the Knicks. We'll take their first and we will give them like this second. And so like the Timberwolves or who has a really good. Oh, the Hawks would have a good first three stars. Give me I will give you back this second. And OK, so we have Luca. I need somebody that's going to fill up the uh, the amount, though. And then that means we're going to trade away Tim Hardaway Jr. for Kawhi Leonard. Okay, and then we will also... We're going to try and get some of the really young guys that are really, really good, but are on solid contracts as well. Jason Tatum would be a good person to bring in. I will give them Seth Curry. And then who... Oh, let's get Zion. Let's get Zion in here. How could I forget about Zion? I'm just trying to get the best possible trade pieces we can. So let's get like Zion. We'll get um, John Morant as well. So Zion and I will give you back Dwight Powell and you will take that. Such good trades if you ask me. Um, I said John Morant as well. So give me John. I will give you not Zion. I will give you Maxi Kleba. And then... Who else could we bring in that's on a small contract? Um, Trey Young. We'll bring in Trey Young and we will give you back like DeLon Wright. Beautiful. Let's go look at this team first off. If this team isn't good enough to get them a championship, or not championship, a trade for Giannis, I don't know what would be. But let's try it. So... Let's propose a trade to the Bucks. So we're going to give you Luka. We're also going to give you Zion because those are the two most valuable players in the game. We'll also give you Jason Tatum. And I will take back your worst contracts, the Nassis and Kyle Korver. They are not interested, but we're going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do this. We'll throw them this next pick. We'll throw them this Hawks pick, and we will throw them the Pistons pick. Boom! Let's go. It's that easy. It is that easy. All we had to give up, all we had to give up was Luka, psh, Zion, psh, Jason Tatum. We have to change Jason Tatum's position. He stayed out of power forward. And then three 2020 first round picks. We did not... I mean, come on. What? It's not that hard. Okay, look at it. When you think about it, we got D Trey Young for DeLon Wright. We got Ja for Maxi Kleba. We got Zion for Dwight Powell. We got Jason Tatum for Seth Curry. And we got Kawhi for Tim Hardaway Jr. Then we got three first round picks for just some second round picks. Okay, like, absolutely so easy. And now look at the team. The team's not even bad. We still have Giannis. We have Kawhi. We have Trey Young. We have Kristaps. And we have John Morant. This is like a beautiful starting five. We go Kristaps, we go John Morant at the shooting guard, and this team is probably good enough to win us a championship. You mean you look at this game plan, we rebuild it? We gotta be number one in the power rankings, right? Um, No, we are not number one in the power rankings. We are actually 17th and 17th and 17th. All right. Just for fun, 
since we're here already, we are going to simulate this season and see if this team can win a championship. All right, so I will catch you guys at the end of this season. I don't know if this team is star-studded enough to win a championship. We'll see. I'll catch you guys there. All right, so Giannis wins MVP on our stack team. Zion wins defense and rookie of the year. Giannis, or Kawhi wins defensive player. Oh, Zion won rookie of the year and six man of the year, excuse me. Here are the All-NBA awards. Um, this wasn't a rebuild. It doesn't really matter that much. I do want to see what the stats look like on a team that's this stacked, though. Uh, playoff stats, that's not what I'm looking for. Season stats. So, Giannis averaged 25. This, yeah, this team was super stacked. We had to have led the league in a lot of categories. Um, so let's go to standings. Points per game, we led by four points. Actually, the Bucks led. Wow. All right, but we are the one seed. We won 68 games. We're just going to simulate the playoffs and see what happens. I'm just having a little bit of fun with this team after all. Uh, but we're up um, three, four, two. Okay, I was looking at the Bucks for a second over there. But um, we do win the entire thing, and Giannis is the finals MVP. So guess what? I guess Giannis is worth all of that. <laughs> but obviously this was uh, kind of a joke, but I was interested to see if we could actually trade for Giannis with any of the other 29 teams. But obviously we weren't able to do that, but we were able to get him in this way. Um, sorry if anything's clickbaity or anything like that, but this was the secret to trading for Giannis. You control all 29 other teams, get the most valuable assets onto your team, and then make the trade happen. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new and you have not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification so you never miss an upload. If you're new, I make a bunch of 2K rebuilds, everything like that. It's a ton of fun. Make sure you stick around. Also, like this video. Appreciate you all so much. And other than that, it's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.